Hello everyone, and today we're going to be going over one of the very popular um, types of composites, and I call them inserts. I've seen them called poppets. Um, I think they have a few other names, but um, so all you're really doing here is popping in baby's face. Um, most of the scene is already done for you, and um, the wrap and, and whatnot's already done, and so what you need to do here is just pop in baby's face and voila, you've got yourself a completed composite. So as with all composites, what we need to do here is check the direction of light. And to find the direction of light, we're going to look for the shadows. And I'm looking here and I can see shadowing right in this area. And so that leads me to believe, and there's a bit of a highlight here and here. Um, so this leads me to know that the direction of light is from top and right. And so any subject that we use, we have to ensure that the direction of light matches or you won't have a very believable composite when you're all through. I've chosen this little guy to use for this tutorial. And as you can see here, I've lit top and left and and you can I know that again because I always shoot top and left but I know that too because there there's a shadow here and there's a shadow falling here and so I know that the lights coming from this direction here so what I'm going to do to start because it does tend to look a little weird if you flip the subject but we can always flip the background so I'm gonna flip the background over so that the shadows match and to do that, I'm just going to go to image, image rotation and flip canvas horizontal. Okay, there we go. Now we have matching shadows. The next thing that I'm going to do here, because I always deliver these images as a JPEG image, and that allows me to get you the largest file possible. There are some file restrictions um, when it comes to uploading to online store. So what I'm going to do is just copy this backdrop. And then I'm going to go over here to the Magic Eraser tool. If you're on Eraser tool, you just right click and scroll down to Magic Eraser tool. And then we're just going to click into the white part of this um, backdrop. And if you turn off the bottom layer, boom, you can see that you have um, a transparent layer there. So I'm just going to toss out the bottom layer. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a selection of my subject. And I'm just going to do a rough selection. And as you can see here, I've got baby in a bonnet already. And what that does for me is it allows me to have very believable shadowing. Again, this is pre-planning for um, a digital backdrop before you ever start. And it's going to make your life so much easier. And it's going to give you a much more believable end product. So I've just chosen a bonnet that is a similar color so that we can blend it in with the backdrop fairly seamlessly. So I'm just going to grab my lasso tool, make a rough selection here, leaving in quite a bit of the bonnet so that I can blend it in. And once I have that selection done, control C, control V, and use my move tool to just pick up his face and drag and drop into the background. So as you can see in this background, the color of the bonnet, you know, is a, quite a bit warmer, um, maybe a little bit richer than what we have here in this baby. And that's okay. Not a big deal. What we're really looking for is the shadowing. And we can play around with coloring after. We can play around with coloring now if we really want to. We can go ahead and change a color in here, but I think what I'll do um, is try to make this composite happen without messing with the color of this bonnet if we can. So to change the size of his face, first of all, I'm going to turn the opacity down so I can see through to the bottom layer. And I'm going to set that right there. And then Control T, grab the corner and hit Shift so you can maintain Maintain the aspect ratio as you're moving. 
And we're just going to pop it in there so that we're filling up most of the space. We're going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to hit Z, or you can go ahead and and click on the zoom tool if you like, but the shortcut key is Z, and then drag right to zoom in. See what we're working with here. I think I'm actually going to increase the size of his face a little bit here. So control T again. Actually, never mind, I'm going to decrease it. I like to line up the chin to the bottom of the backdrop. Alright, I think that looks okay right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the opacity all the way up. And next thing I'm going to do is add a layer mask. So you just click right here. And then we're going to select the black palette and brush tool to go ahead and start painting off the top layer. I do like to use my brushes roughly around 35%, doesn't have to be perfect. And again, I'm using um, the Wacom pen and tablet instead of a mouse, and I find it works really, really well for doing compositing. Um, and so if you hear scratching in the background, that's what it is. It's just me scratching on this tablet. Gently blending in between the backdrop and your subject. And keeping portions of the original subject image so that we can maintain those shadows and come up with a very, very believable composite without having to build shadows of our own. If you pre-plan, as I said before, most of the work is done for you. So I'm just going to massage around here and then I can see that I don't have quite enough to fill up the backdrop and that's okay I'm going to show you how to use the liquify tool to move the backdrop without distorting baby's face or making his face too big so that it doesn't really make sense to the image I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way up to get the edges blended out and using the bracket key to increase the size of my brush right bracket brings it up left bracket brings it down. Those hotkeys are a real time saver. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and blend this out here. If you go too far, no problem. You can go back, paint it in with white on your layer mask. I'm just going to show you, as you can see, I went too far right here. I'm going to hit the X key, bring my brush size down with the left bracket, just paint back the chin. Okay, I'm liking this so far. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see where we're at. I think we can finesse this bonnet in the backdrop a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is click on the background and then I'm going to go to Filter and Liquify. And as you can see, I have Show Backdrop and In Front. So this, I can see the baby's face, but I'm working on the backdrop. So I'm actually going to be moving the backdrop around to fit into baby, because not all baby's faces are the same size. When I create the inserts themselves, I use, a doll and the doll has a v more of a round face maybe your subject doesn't have a round face has a little bit a little bit of a longer face is a smaller baby etc etc so what you're going to do is just move this with the push tool to blend right into or to meet up with sorry meet up with your subject 
just a little bit at a time. And actually there's a bit of width here that I don't like. So I'm moving that over too. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to click OK. All right, so if you want to see what we've done here, I'm in the History palette, and I'm just going to click back to Before We Liquefied. Hang on, let me zoom in here. Before We Liquefied here, and then after the Liquefy here. So really just snug in on, on Baby and um, We've got ourselves a very believable looking composite already. I'm really thrilled with this. I might fine tune just around here a tiny bit just to blend a little bit more. But again, I don't want to hide all of the original bonnet because it's giving me those perfectly believable shadows. And you'd never know that this wasn't um, shot this way to begin with. So back to the layer mask and my black. And I'm going to bring this all the way down and just gently massaging in on this edge. Excellent. The other thing I meant to mention is as you can see in this original image, I've got a similar color tone down here as well. And that's going to help with, you know, color casting under the chin. And uh, again, it's all to me about believable shadows. They don't have to match and be the exact same as you can see they are not. Um, but in the similar color family, and that's going to give you a much more believable composite. You can even just drape that color over here. You don't have to have them wearing it. If you know that you're shooting for an insert, um, biggest thing is put a bonnet on that baby and then a similar color down here and you're off to the races. So I think that I'm going to just zoom back out for a second here. I think I'm going to warm his face up a tiny bit not too, too much. I'm going to click on baby's face layer and I'm going to come up into camera raw filter and I'm going to add just a little bit of warmth. Not too, too much. Let's see how, how we like that because it is quite warm in this scene. So again, we'll go back and then we'll check on how we like that and, and I'm really happy with how that looks. And as one final tweak, I'm going to add curves layer here and just pull down, bring a little, oh, I'm glad I did that. So we're going to just clip this instead of darkening the entire scene. We just want to darken baby's face. So we're going to create a clipping mask to attach this adjustment to baby's face only. down a little bit. Very nice. And I'm just going to bring the highlights up a tiny bit. All right, I'm happy with that. So if you take a look here, I'm going to show you without the curves, uh, with the curves layer, without the curves layer, with the curves layer, without the curves layer. I'm really thrilled with the way that it's looking um, with the addition of that curves layer. And I think that we are looking at our final product. So a few things to remember just to recap is start with um, your backdrop choice. That is just going to make your life in the editing process um, so much quicker. So start with your choice of backdrop. Um, second thing to do, check for the shadowing. There's the shadowing. As you remember, we flipped this backdrop over because we didn't want to flip baby's face. Um, and then next thing to do is shoot for this backdrop. And there we go, we've got a similar colored bonnet, you know, similar lighting and, you know, a similar color tone down here. And I think that's all for this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Happy Photoshopping! <laughs>